Hello YouTube, my name is The Legend of Yes and welcome back to E3 Week and this is episode 4 of E3 Week, so we're not coming on the 4th of June and we are today, today, no, well not today for me but today for you guys on, on when this video goes up one week from Nintendo's E3 press conference or Nintendo Direct I guess that'll be the fairer thing to say is that we're gonna be doing that it's gonna be in about a week. Anyway, let's go on to the video, which is the Nindies or Indies working with Nindies IPs or Nintendo's IPs. Uh, after Ken of I Rule, this has been kind of a speculation. Can more indie companies work on Nintendo's IPs? So I decided to make a video about this. I was gonna do it uh, before, way back, not way back, uh, when uh, Ken of I Rule was announced. But I decided, why not wait until E3 and see if anything else gets confirmed? Which didn't but obviously before we get to that uh, I want to remind everyone that uh, at 250 250 not 115 250 subscribers we'll be doing another giveaway uh, obviously I don't even I don't know right now what it's gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be like a 25 euro eShop giveaway or a, or a, or a, or a online subscription I don't know yet uh, it might even be a steam uh, card giveaway but anyway um, this episode uh, blah, 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 Let's get on to the video before I confuse myself even more. And obviously, it's not just crossovers that I would like to see, like Candace and Viral, but also revivals that could happen. So some of the IPs that I have, uh, some of these are quite obvious. Uh, Advance Wars, uh, it's, an it's an obvious one. Maybe even go to the people that make the, what was it, Wargroove? Was it that the name of the game that came out? a couple of months ago or a year ago, I think it was months ago, could be wrong. Uh, it be interesting for them to take on to the Advance War series, uh, an F-Zero game made probably by the Fast RMX team, by Shinnom. Uh, it could be interesting to see maybe even the Golden Sun revival, Camelot, 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 doesn't, Camelot, Jesus, doesn't seem interesting in doing, interested in doing it, and maybe the budget for it with a Camelot doing it is not interesting for Nintendo. So maybe given to a, a small indie company would be the way to go. Uh, it could be interesting to work on. Uh, we haven't seen it and there's a lot of uh, talented teams that could uh, work on an RPG like that. I would have included Mother into this list, but I don't think um, that's happening. I think that, and not only, I don't think it's happening, I don't think it should. Uh, the, the, the series is done according to the creator and he said if Nintendo wants to do a fourth one, they could. I'm just saying that I feel like both men, I feel like if the story is done, another person taking hold of it, it's going to be different. And I think like at that point, you might as well just call it something else. You don't really need to call it Mother. Although, it's, it's mostly because of the story being done that I feel that. Although most of the times I would say like, if the gameplay is the same, you might just as well call it that. But, uh, but yeah, the creator doesn't want to do it. and. He said the story is done. I don't think you should do more. It just feels like it's not the same thing, you know? Uh, but that's just my opinion. Then I think like a warrior platformer. We haven't had warrior, a warrior platforming game in ages. So maybe a warrior platformer done by... There's a bunch of different teams, uh, indie teams, that could do tremendous work on a platformer. You give them a warrior or you give them... A warrior would love with you would be cool to see. Uh, and you give them like a Nintendo supervision. And I think a lot of them could could actually make a great great game out of it punch out could be another one uh, if we're not seeing um a new punch out and if next level games is working on which is mentioned three or something else then and punch out should not be just left on the wayside it would be interesting maybe even a crossover uh with 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 someone i don't know who but hey I, uh, it could be i think it would be an interesting one for nintendo to to do it like maybe even like a new spin-off from a new franchise like a Mario a new Mario spin-off uh, again if they're not making if next level games is not making punch out or just making Luigi's Mansion maybe Mario Strikers could be done by an indie team a Mario Baseball a Mario RPG um, or even maybe Paper Mario could be done by by um, by an indie team it'll be interesting uh, to see um, and one thing I think would be kind of interesting to see too is that if Nintendo affiliated with themselves with indies like they did with next level games monster games intelligence systems and made them uh, have them made new ips uh we haven't had that happen in a while with nintendo affiliate and even no not 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 in a while what am i saying platinum games is technically speaking an indie 
and they're making Astral Chain and it's Nintendo funding and owning it. So it could be, they could do that with, with them. Actually, other IPs that could also get this treatment would be like Star Fox. Uh, you know, if Nintendo's not going to be doing it, may, may as well do Star Fox. I would say Pokemon, but the Pokemon company is very strict on these things, so I don't think that would uh, would happen. And there's probably like a million others that I'm missing, that, I, that probably like when I read them I'm going to feel like an idiot. Maybe a Metroid, but Metroid's probably going to be done by, uh, it's one, Prime is being done by Retro, and probably Mercury Series working on a 2D Metroid, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's many more spin-offs and, and, and company or, or games that Nintendo could borrow for third, for Indies. Uh, so I guess that'll be it for this video. Wow, that was a short one. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've been the Legend of the S. Remember, like, comments, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, it's a giveaway at 250 subscribers. And join me again tomorrow as we go over for the 10 ports that I like to see on Nintendo Switch. And also, tomorrow is the Pokemon Direct. Uh, maybe for you guys it will be today or already happened. Uh, so, yeah, reaction video probably will be up if the Pokemon company doesn't block it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.